everyone, in this video, we'll be talking to you about voice search and what it means for your marketing strategies and SEO. Coming up next. We are back and we're talking about voice search and what it means for marketing strategies and your SEO tips. Now, when you're thinking about voice search, I'm sure everyone's already thinking about the AI assistants out there that we're already using to turn on alarms and create grocery lists and make purchases. But the fact of the matter is we are using voice search today and voice search is now, I'm thinking by 2020, they've said 30% of voice search will be without a screen. So this is really important when we're thinking about marketing strategies. Yeah, I've seen numbers 30 to even 50% is going to be happening without a screen. It's going to be voice driven. It's going to be in your home. It's going to be in your car. It's going to be in your business. So this is, uh, this is really happening. Can you hear me now? <laughs> it's kind of like when we said, let's optimize our websites for mobile, which was a big push for everyone. And now we're saying, let's optimize all of our content and our marketing out there for voice. So when we're thinking about that, we're really thinking about optimizing your content, videos, business listings, local SEO, all for home devices out there that will be searching for you. So let's talk about local SEO, David. What does it mean for local SEO? How is this affecting local SEO? Right, so local SEO and voice search is sort of the tip of the spear, right? Yeah. Uh, we see that almost 50% of people that do a voice search for a business actually visit that business within a day. And that's an incredible number. Right. Uh, there's a lot that can be done from an SEO standpoint. You mentioned mobile, right? Yeah. Like I was part of the mobile revolution when it started and we were telling clients, you know, it's coming, but it's <laughs> not all that important. And don't worry about it until it's a big part of the market. And boy, that came on like a freight train, right? It was the next year we were saying, well, wait a minute, we're gonna backtrack on this. It's mobile first. And today, everything we do is geared on the mobile visitor first, right. the desktop user second. And it's not gonna be too long in the distant future that we're gonna be focusing on mobile and voice as the two primary things that need to come together and happen if you want to be found as a business. Yeah, because we're all using voice already right now through Amazon and Echo and Siri and, and Alexa. So this is already happening and now it's just going to continue gaining more and more waves here. Absolutely. So two of the things we talk about in these podcasts are video yes. and websites, and, websites yeah. and, and voice search. And I think it's really interesting what's happening with video. And a lot of you know that what went on with search and video up till this point has really had everything to do about the text and the context around the video. And that's how you scored in search. That's how you got search results, search right? Results, yeah. That's not gonna be the case moving forward. Today, Google is already testing in their uh, YouTube beta studio a transcription service that processes the voice track directly out of your video as it's being processed. And we know they're testing that for a reason. That is, they plan on being able to optimize video based on the voice track and not what SEO people have done to put words around it and get your video to score, right? SEO people ruin everything <laughs> that's good. But, um, what that means is in the future, when you're creating video, you're absolutely gonna want to think about your scripting and getting that you know, keyword sort of heavy text in. Uh, even though keywords aren't as important as they used to be, it's going contextual, but you wanna absolutely think about that to get your video scored. Yeah, and that means also talking in a natural language because these are the questions obviously on the devices that make sense for us when we're looking for something or we need a piece of knowledge, we're gonna be using a natural language to ask for that. So it's important to have that in the video. Which, which do you have anything else on video? Well, if, other than that, you know, Google My Business now has a, oh, right. a functionality where you can upload a video directly to uh, your profile. It's different than the way it used to be when you would actually just link your YouTube video over to your profile. And we're starting to see those videos actually come up in map search, which is pretty cool when you think about it. Right. If you're searching for a business, you'd like to actually see a little video clip on, you know, right. 
what pizza do they offer or what service do they offer or what do they do. Yeah. So that's, that's really um, one of the important things that I see going on with local search and video. And when I'm thinking about video, I'm thinking, okay, here's an example. I'll ask a question. Where is the best local juice bar in my area? And your video, you want your video to pop up and search. So this is what we're talking about, just to give you an example of an idea of how that can work for you. You know, or if you're looking for the best insulation for your attic, or what's the best beach to go to because you're on Oahu. You know, these are the things that we're talking about. This is what you want to correlate in your, your video marketing. And for local search, the biggest takeaway that I want people to understand is you have to be a leader in the marketplace for your category, your search term. Right. Because when it comes to voice, you don't have a whole screen full of search results. You generally <laughs> get one, right? Right. And before you move on to the next one. So you need to be optimized absolutely to come up in that top position more often than not. And as yeah. we know, local search is based on proximity and that's proximity from, of the user from your business that's proximity of uh, you know, the distance that's there, but it also has to do with the competition and the density of the competition in the area. And so for you people that are in you know, metro city areas, uh, you better sharpen your sword because <laughs> you need to be really, really on point when it comes to coming up for your category. Yeah, and I did read that 60% of people that are using voice search more often than not will be visiting that location within the day you know, within a 24 hour to 48 hour period after they've done a voice search. So really important to get optimized for voice search. Let's talk about website optimization for voice search. And the first thing I'm going to say is what I just said is you've got to make your content in natural language so that it reflects out there on voice search. And that pertains to creating questions and answers that are understandable and natural language because that's what people are looking for. When they land on your website, what's the first question that somebody has? Maybe they don't understand what your website sells or offers or has, and that might be the first question to start with, you know? Um, and as well as your answers really need to be in that natural language format. Yep. And that's a, that's a perfect marriage of voice search and local search. So uh, I think I read that there's four primary intents that people have when they do a search. And what are they? What do I want to do? Where do I want to go? What do I want to buy? And what's the fourth one? How to get there. How to get there, right? <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, and so those are the things that people, um, the buckets that all of those questions fall yeah. into and you want to actually answer those. Yep. Uh, when it comes to website optimization also, there is a, a schema or a microdata overlay for just about every type of content or you know, service out there, including your website. And Google has a new voice-driven um, schema. It's called Speakable, and you absolutely want to get this installed in your website. I don't know where it is as far as yeah. a ranking factor right now, but it, Google's released it, and obviously that's for a reason. Uh, and so this is going to be one of the primary ways that you help to score in search. And when you're thinking about local SEO, you know, you want, like I said, you're going back to answering those questions in a natural language. So let's say you are looking for, um, you're in Maui and you want to go to the best beach. And so you use your voice search to find the best beach for the area that you're in standing in right now. And it's going to direct you to those beaches. So you really want to make sure that you're providing the content out there that is naturally and natural language as well as you have the questions and answers that your audience is looking for. And I'm also going to say, going back to the, the business profiles, make sure that your browser search, Google, Bing browsers are all up to date with your business listing. Go through your description, make sure your hours and your phone numbers are correct, because this is really important in the voice search algorithms that they'll be pulling out there. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, one of the other ten tendencies or trends that's happening in voice search is the integration of direct one-to-one -one communication. And Google has released a messaging service that is directly attached to your Google My Business profile. Yeah. And if you've downloaded the Google My Business app to your phone, all of a sudden what you have is the ability for a customer who's in a search situation to connect directly to you and communicate with you. So when your phone goes ping, uh, maybe it's not, you know, a picture of your brother-in-law's new dog on Facebook, but it's actually a customer that wants to spend money with you. Right. And so, 
you know, since we're all attached to our phones 24-7 anyway. Or watches or whatever device Or whatever it is, yeah. Why, <laughs> why not have a revenue earning opportunity associated Somewhere. with it? And I'm not going to say that I love that, but I'm going to say as a business owner, you have to do what unsuccessful business owners aren't willing to do, right? And that's going to be the trend. People want to know. They want to go. So you better be on the line. So lastly, we're just going to say two things again. Optimize your website. Three things. Optimize your website for voice search. Optimize local SEO for home assistant devices. So important. And optimize your video for voice search. So important, everyone. Absolutely. And, and there's, you know, I mean, there's hours of content we could talk about on yeah. any one of these topics, local search, voice search. Video. Video, search What's engine that? optimization. <laughs> uh, there's so much to know. And, you know, as a business owner, it can be daunting, but you need to connect yourself with the right resources to do that. And yeah. so if you have questions, we're always here to answer them. Yeah, please leave us questions or comments below in this video. We would love to hear from you all and thank you so much. We hope you've learned something and we hope you're thinking about adding voice search strategy to your website and your SEO content. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. Cool. We'll see you later. Aloha. Aloha.